a seafood worker is a struggler. They're hard workers, but they they get through life with basics. They're simple people. They live simple lives. I started oystering with my dad when I was five years old. When I was 13, I started oystering by myself, and I've done it ever since. It has been really tough in the last few years because of the changes in Apalachicola Bay. It's a love-hate relationship between the men and the bay. Beginning around 2012, we really started to see a dramatic decline in the oyster populations in Apalachicola Bay. The primary driving factor that determines what can live there and what can't is the amount of salt in the water. We really had a serious drought period and salinities were very high for a sustained time. Scientists have predicted that we will have a continued gradual rise in temperatures and that we will continue to see rising sea levels in our area. Those two factors are going to impact people and the ecology of our estuary systems. Being a community that is remote, that doesn't have a lot of other economic engines, we are pretty vulnerable if something doesn't go as planned. Our seafood industry, our tourism industry, most of that is based on the environment, and there's no place else for people to work. For the poor and marginalized, for those who are hungry, unemployed, uninsured, and uneducated, we pray. Hear our prayer, O Lord, and have When the environment changes, it has a great impact on people's lives. Vulnerable people are going to be affected by climate change everywhere in this country. And we need to help each other a lot. The church is concerned about the environment. The extent that changes in the environment affect human beings, then those changes are moral issues. And as men and women of faith, we do have a responsibility to speak out on moral issues. We should be especially concerned of those who are most vulnerable. We have the opportunity to be their voice. Here in Franklin County, we work to help the most vulnerable in our community. Don't expect someone to ride in on a white horse and fix it. You can't duct tape it. You can't fix it on the short term. You have to provide a path and support for people to fix it themselves. It's a hard life. I've considered leaving the bay and going elsewhere and looking for work, but my heart's not in it. I love this bay. I was raised on it, my father done it, my grandfather done it, and my youngest son loves the bay and he's already oysters and I'm struggling with trying to get him to seek a new avenue.